The bad man decided to host his Telford documentary in Telford, outside the police station. You wonder who the bad man is? Well, we'll get this up. This is uh, Romlin Tomlinson, or whatever other fake name we have to use, because some robot at one of these Silicon Valley platforms will delete this video if we use mm -hmm. the right name, I'm told. So this is his uh, Getter account, and of course he is the bad man, and you can go see the full version here, but we can't play that because he's the bad man, and we live in a free country. Let's go to the next one so we can get the uh, details, because me and John went down and had a look. We had been reporting on what had been happening, and well, we wanted to see what he had to deliver and mm -hmm. his claims. And as you can see here, this is just some photos I took at the time, and this is, I spent a lot of the time with the counter demonstration who we're going to enjoy looking at. And as you can see, they had the Communist Party with them, proudly, always standing with them. And the then, counter demonstration included people with hammer and sickle flags. And the words Communist Party yeah. on them. It, it's not even, oh, well, what does that mean? I, no, it's just open communists, open extremists, standing with the counter demonstration against extremism. Right. Okay. okay. So I hope not the hate levels of understanding but i thought i'd mention some stuff um we saw first so the if for the too long didn't read in case you don't have time to watch the documentary so the survivors as uh, they call themselves and like to be called they said that they had named the rapists and named one police inspector who was corrupt and this is three girls independently don't know each other all came to the same names that's what mm -hmm. uh, robinson said and the police even had DNA evidence of one Muslim suspect because they had a fetus and took DNA evidence from that. And therefore, it's 100% this guy is a rapist mm -hmm. and a nonce. And yet the police force decided to take no further action, as they put it, even though they had the evidence. Why? It, who knows? Just And these were the <laughs> questions that were asked in the documentary. Uh -huh. There was a series of suspects in, uh, <clears throat> I believe, Nicole's case, and she had a load of Muslims and then one Sikh uh, the police. I've seen, I've seen the, the pictures of yeah. the, the grooming gang where it's like the one guy with the turban. Is that the guy? I don't know if it's that guy right. uh, specifically, but he does mention that the all of the Muslim suspects were overlooked and the one Sikh guy was charged instead. So which... they, they, they didn't charge the Muslims, but they charged the Sikh. Yes. Even though we have evidence, DNA evidence, of one of the Muslims, well, creating a fetus with an underage child. This is insane. Yes. So the, there was also the survivors who alleged a specific inspector took a cash bribe to cover up the local Muslim gangsters. And this being they had charges of drugs, of noncery, all the rest of it. And so she alleged that, well, a specific right. uh, inspector took that cash bribe. She was there to view it. And, well, he was going to be asked about it, wasn't he? So Tommy put trackers on all of their cars, the specific, <laughs> uh, specifically three Muslims who were alleged to be uh, right. nonces, and the inspector who was alleged to have been taking cash bribes to cover it up. Mm -hmm. And so he put trackers on the cars so he could go and meet them and do his journalistic duty, which is to go down and give mm -hmm. them a right of reply. And just ask them on camera, look, these three girls have alleged independently that you've done this. Mm -hmm. What's your response? And that's why I was quite proud of him, actually, for the way he produced that. It's well, what did they say? Clear cut. Uh, three of them said nothing, the inspector and mm. two of the Muslims. And uh, one of them just said that it's all lies, none of it's true. If and it's all lies, how is it that a child got pregnant by one of your children? By, by, I don't know if it was children. that specific chat. But, sure, but one yeah, of them definitely. obviously impregnated a child. But there we are. That's where the documentary right, sort of ends, okay. let's say. In which it's like, okay, well, we have these accusations, we're given the right reply, he's done his job. And mm -hmm. okay, he's alleging police corruption. What's it got to do with race? Good question. Well, I mean, mm. well, if we <laughs> speak to the police and ask them why they didn't charge the Muslims but did charge the Sikh. Yeah, so I thought we'd go over the day and some of the build-up, of course, as well, because we mentioned previously, as you can see here, this was an article, law firm worker cornered and filmed by Robinson. Uh, well, that was one of the guys being asked yeah. about the allegations. If we go to the next one... I love the good, good boy did nothing, cornered by Satan. Yes. <laughs> so this is uh, Robinson's car being blown up outside Telford Hotel oh, yeah. in petrol bomb attack. These attacks, if we go to the next one as well, attacks, because there's been multiple, mm -hmm. is because, as Robinson believes, and seems to be the case, is that as he was conducting his investigation, producing a documentary, mm. and allegations started becoming public, that he said, I think you've done it. Um, cars just started blowing up and there was also one lady who Maybe was there some people visiting from sweden yeah there was uh one lady who had her house th with bricks thrown through the windows twice really? who was a survivor so that was a witness who had to then go into protection because they were being attacked at their home God. perfectly normal things absolutely and if we go to the next uh link here we can see an image so this is mainly the documentary it focuses on the claims of this survivor here nicole so mm -hmm. if she lists all and uh i thought we'd go to standard to racism's side of the demonstration just to go through the day so we can see the two sides and what they actually achieved so if we go to the next link you can see stand up to racism and the fact that they're all standing around 
doing the thing. And let's play a clip of what they were up to. There's a small collection of what they were up to. I mean, justice for the victims sounds good. Uh, yeah, I mean, this was the funny thing about the whole situation, that there were speeches, especially at the start, like that chap at the end there, who was saying that, well, the, yeah, we admit that, the, and, we, and we say that the girls didn't get justice, they're still not getting justice, and they need okay. help. It's like, yes, what do you disagree on? Yeah. Exactly. Well, refugees, well, none of these people are refugees. Why are you bringing them up? I have a whole other conversation about refugees and uh, <laughs> grooming at another point. But the question as well is that the, uh, I, I can't read all that right now, but the, the fact that the guys agreed, but they all say that Robinson is a bad man and therefore bad and therefore we can't agree with him on anything. And hmm. right, okay. And it's, what, what are you doing with your life then? What are you doing here? And it all seems to be just a tribal day yeah. in which they can all stand around and say, we're the good people. He's the bad guy. We just hate, ba -ba -ba -ba. we just hate, Romy Tomlinson. Yeah, you've not done anything, which is just... I, hmm, yeah, but also the fact that they, of course, accept the Communist Party as open and part of their mm. uh, protest there, and the fact that they have black blocks turning up. This is also just the point here that their own propaganda on the Who makes site, these goddamn signs? Yeah, they're all funded. Exactly the same goddamn signs. Yeah, they all get reused as well. But you can see the Communist flags again mm -hmm. within their own propaganda. They're not hiding that. They're not ashamed of it. They're happy to be alongside such extremists. Mm -hmm. Perfectly fine. If we go to the next one, we can see uh, this is some footage of them all screeching at each other, let's say, because it's it's an interaction between so the Robertson supporters who are down that bank there yeah. and underneath because that's where the car park is. And I thought it was the most interesting part, which is that as, as Robinson starts to thank Nicole, you can also hear chants of Nazi scum. Uh, she's like, this is bad optics in the extreme for the mm. leftists. Let's play. What you're gonna what you're gonna see today is corruption and allegations of corruption against police officers. Telford police identified 200 men in their police investigation. No, no. They prosecuted 11. They prosecuted 11. What this is about is the start of naming and f shaming them. Nicole is a mother of four children. Yeah. Four children. I interviewed her and I saw her bravery, her courage, her determination. Even this week, sending me messages when cars started getting blown up, family mem members were targeted. Nothing is going to stop me. That's what she said. She messaged me, nothing is going to stop me. I, I am sorry, but just the optics there of like, here's a survivor of race based child sexual exploitation. The police are corrupt. There are these gangs of men r raping children. You're a Nazi. But on the basis of race as well. Yeah, uh, yeah. The rapists are racist. This, and stand up uh, to racism uh, is shouting Nazi scum off our street in response to this. Waving communist flags. So what the hell is wrong with you people? Real bizarro world stuff. And I'm trying to be as neutral as possible because quite frankly, that is what I think most people complain about whenever the bad man is mentioned. So can we just get some neutral reporting on the situation? Sure. Which is why I'm showing the footage. Um, and to explain some of this, I also thought we'd add up some uh, footage John took at the front here. So this is of the Robertson side, just to show the crowd. <laughs> but you can also see that bank on the right there, because mm -hmm. it goes up and they're in a little bit of a bank down. Well, yeah. that's where the screen is and where the documentary is being shown and where, right, right. well, you know, people who support him would be. That's not where some people were. Some people turned up to this, and as I'm saying some people is in like, I think it's about five, mm -hmm. uh, called the Chelsea Headhunters. So if we can go to the next link, please. 
you can see that standard racism decided to put this out on their account. As you can see, they say, proof if proof were ever needed of what uh, hashtag bad man is all about. One of his supporters gives a Nazi salute in Telford's hashtag never again, thanks to Unite Against Fascism for this. And it's a guy giving a wave. And this is why I'm, I'm what is wrong with you? I mean, even as just anti-fascist, what is wrong with you? Like the Nazi symbol behind him is on the flag there. The skull and crossbones, <laughs> that's that's the bit. The dude divvy, that what the wave isn't important. Right. You, I was done. Hey, 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 this, this is amazing. So they have identified a Nazi. Yes. He's waving at someone and they're like, this is a Nazi salute. But no one looks at that and thinks that's a Nazi salute. But they didn't notice the skull and crossbones, the symbol of the SS behind them. The, 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 the anti-fascists don't know what fascist symbols are, apparently. It, it, it's just embarrassing. And if we go to the next image, people who don't know who the hell this group is, apparently they're I've a, never heard of them. a football hooligan group, so a football hooligan being big mm. in the UK in decades past and is still sort of hung around. The Chelsea head centers being openly racist and uh, neo-Nazis, let's say, using neo-Nazi symmetry right, okay. and whatnot. So it's, that is the case. And if we go to the uh, uh, next clip just before we play it, which is the why found out that they were there because I was standing in between these two groups. And as you can see, Robertson's guys were all down in that dip watching the show. Yeah. And the leftist guys were all stood there. So then these fascists turned up, completely away from the documentary, unveil their flags in front of the leftists to make sure they're seen, and then just buggered off and didn't watch the movie. So it was like... Right. And I take it the leftists didn't, like, you know, stand up to fascism. I, I, uh, there's no evidence of that. They didn't get in a fight with them. But quite frankly, it seems these people were there just to have a fight. But it all happened, and I'll, I'll show the clip of... <laughs> oh, yeah, a bunch of them like, hey, we're communists, yeah, we hate fascists. Hey, we're fascists, we hate communists, do you want to have a fight? And they're like, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the... Well, it's not Canada cold, but you know. And show. <laughs> so I started the camera as soon as they uncovered it. To bring justice to the victims. They're here for all of 20 seconds. And we know the flagship Telford investigation channels resulted in 11 convictions. 11. Right? That's it. Yeah, our shoestring investigation has been given over 200 names of alleged perpetrators. We also know the independent inquiry has been given over 300 names. We can shortcut the conclusions of the inquiry for the performance of the police, social services, councillors. It was woeful at best, but more than likely, it was a new country to cut down on the against me. Well, we're about to get that far off this pedo f***ing Muslim gang. Are you a specific organisation? No. What a fight Okay. So yeah, there's there's the uh, the fascist for the day who turned up not to watch the documentary but to have a fight, as he put it. Is this issue like six of them? Yeah, but I mean that's the extent of it. They, they turned up, they weren't involved with the Robertson supporters because they're not watching the bloody thing. They're not down there with them. No. And instead went there to stand out front of the leftists and go, haha, we're fascists. Let's have a fight. <laughs> and then just bug it off and went down the pub, presumably. I don't know. It was a weird occurrence, but uh, we, should, we should mention it because that's what happened. It's strange. I presume they wanted to fight that black block, as we were pointing out. Right, right, right. And uh, the police said nothing happened. If we go to the uh, next uh, link here, you can see this was... So back, please, on the ghetto one. There's a strange thing that as soon as the documentary started, you can hear it being started there. Mm -hmm. That's when Stand Up to Racism left. So, right, okay. They don't want to hear about that. So when Nicole started laying out that she was a victim of race-based child sex exploitation, standard to racism, walked away. <laughs> Let's play the clip. I'm waiting at the baby. I'm thinking, if you wasn't here... Bye! That's why the police have lost 40 years of evidence in the new Forty years. Sit down and have a coffee to racism. I guess is their new name. <laughs> what a weird thing to do. Why, why can you not just sit there and watch the thing? Oh, yeah. Because you might see something you don't like. I guess. I, I mean, that's the thing. You can interact with both sides as a normal person, and that's fine. Uh, Callum, you, you've got to understand the, the the Soros money contracts them for exclusively <laughs> one hour, but it's and when that time's up. <laughs> I, I, you know, I can appreciate that there are people with all kinds of, of views, but the idea that you can't engage with an opposition's group's view is mad to me still. Mm -hmm. uh, and seeing that in real time here, that, well, let's start playing the documentary, a victim of racial-based child sexual exploitation, start speaking, and the stand-up to racism group walk away. Nothing to do with us, governor. 
Yeah. But I thought, so that's that's the, the day that happened and the documentary, and you can go and watch his, his full allegations and all that in your own time. But what's the net effect? Because people wonder sometimes, why do you bother going to these things? Mm. Or why do people bother doing them? And um, I thought we'd have an analysis of that of just both sides for a minute. Because this is what Tomlinson, the bad man, was able to get. As you can see here, grooming gang victims urged to come forward in wake of Robinson's Telford rally. They're saying here, no arrests were made and there was not any significant incidents of disorder, police said. Good. So those fascists and the black bloc didn't go and fight. Superintendent Jamie Dunn of West Mercia Police said, I would like to thank our local communities across Telford, local businesses and retailers, and those visiting the town centre yesterday for the support and understanding. We recognise the context of the documentary may cause people to reflect on their own experiences, and they may, as a result, wish to speak to us about these. I would encourage anyone who has been sexually exploited to contact us regardless of when the offences took place and we will investigate them. We also recognise that some people may have been affected by child sexual exploitation, but not wish to pursue prim criminal proceedings. However, we would still encourage these people to contact us or another agency to seek support. So this is the effect that he was able to get, which is mm. a call from the local police. So, okay, yeah, we will investigate and anyone has anything, please come to us. If we, uh, There is one thing that Birmingham Live left out from the post. So if we go to the next one, you can see the full post here. They ended off with, if anyone has been left feeling unsafe or fearful following the documentary, then we would urge them to report or get in contact. It might interpret that previously as a threat of, oh, no, there, yes, the racists were here or something. But yeah. no, the documentary ends with the cars being firebombed and whatnot. So I wonder if they're actually referencing that. Because if you're a victim and you want to speak out, but you're afraid of being, getting your car firebombed, well, yeah, I can understand that fear. And if we uh, go to the last link here, you can see the fact that the Birmingham Live are also reporting on the fact that he intends to remain in the area, the bad man, to investigate allegations of abuse because he wants to go and do two more on this uh, town because it's Good. that bad. But the, the thing is, there you are. That's what he's achieved. That's what his supporters have turned up and achieved, which mm. is a, a public statement from the police. We want to investigate this. Please come to us. Yeah. What did those leftists achieve? A tribal moment. Hmm. They all stood around and went, yes, we are good people. They are the bad people. Yes, yes. Oh, we are also good. <laughs> uh, and then just uh, yeah. left. Uh, I mean, they just, they're not even there to watch the documentary. Mm. I can see John saying here, uh, the victims didn't go into protection. The police refused to send men to protect them. Yeah, I should have clarified. It was uh, Tommy and his men who offered protection to that person who had their attack, house attacked twice with bricks as well. Jesus the police did not Christ. want to. So that's, that's, that's the lay of the yeah. land with the police there. And what happened? And hopefully people can take that and see the footage and make up their own minds. Yeah, I mean, they've got, they've got to keep demanding. They've got to keep demanding that justice is done. Yeah. Oh, there was one really funny bit when I was with the leftist group. One guy started a speech and said, uh, black and white unite, mm -hmm. and they all clapped. And I was like, hang on, that's an EDL phrase. Do you know what, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, that's an old EDL chant. <clears throat> and it's like, okay, yeah. well, it's, it's now come into their lexicon. Interesting. Yeah. But that's the situation. I hope that was uh, informative. Hmm. Well, I, I wasn't there. You were there, so it was good to know. Because it's not like you're going to get fair coverage of the man, the bad man, anywhere else. That's it? why I wanted to do it. Yeah. But I mean, it, it looks, it really does look like you've got these just the highly politicized, paid-off communist protesters. And the undeniable reality of the crimes that have happened to these women when they were children is, is something totally separate. Mm. Like the stand-up to racism people, like chanting about refugees and Tories, it's like no one's mentioning this any of this. This isn't Dover. Yeah, exactly. This has nothing to do with that. You know, These are now historical crimes from legal immigrants. So there was a local reporter I ran into and had a decent conversation with and he was just upset because he was like look i live here i port here every day and a lot of these people know from he said from either side aren't from here they're from mm -hmm. elsewhere and uh i i didn't get to ask too many of the tommy guys because there's too many of them yeah but we, we asked around on the left side london uh bristol brighton mm. and it was just like, okay so you're paid all, activists you're all foreign yeah and when we were walking around because you've got all those guys who are clearly tommy supporters but then you've got the wallflowers i'm mm. gonna call them all the way around, just people passing by, or lots and lots of just mums. Just watching, yeah, yeah. Mums. Uh, talking just, you know, lots and lots of women on the side who obviously can't be associated because maybe they got professional jobs or something or whatever else, but we're definitely interested. Mm. That was mm. the lay of the land. Good for them. If you enjoyed that segment from the podcast, The Lotus Eaters, you can go to lotuseaters.com to subscribe to get access to all the premium content we have on the site, such as this one, which is an interview with Taras Kobanik by Rory. And if you want to follow Rory and see what he's up to, you can always go on Getter and follow him at Rory Lotus Eaters. Thank you and goodbye.